Hey, so I was out here uh, cleaning a couple guns and uh, wanted to make a quick video just um, about a couple of things that I do. I'm sure I don't do much different than other people do uh, with their gun cleaning stuff. Um, I'm surrounded by all my stuff that you just can't see on, on camera. Uh, step one is always make sure the gun's unloaded and I've got my bolt already removed. Um, this is my Marlin 983S 22 Magnum. Uh, when I made the last video, I noticed that, man, it hadn't been cleaned in a while. So I wanted to go ahead and do that. Um, show you a couple of things that I use. I like these boar snakes. Now, this one is not a uh, the Hops brand. This is just a $3 one from Amazon. And honestly, I've had really, really good luck with them. Uh, I use them for all of my guns. Now, I still have... I still have a more traditional gun cleaning kit. Um, mostly what I use that for, though, is to clean the uh, tubes of the tube fed, um, tube fed rifles. Uh, you can't really get the boar snake in, so I go down, uh, clean all the debris out of there. Uh, if you've watched the footage that I have when we were hunting in Arizona with this rifle, um, you may not be able to tell, or, or you may. Um, I actually had a malfunction with the tube itself. The spring got stuck, um, so I had to actually use gravity, let the, it wouldn't put tension on the shells to uh, reload. So I had to hold it up, let gravity drop one, and then go ahead and cycle. Uh, and I only found that out because I had a great shot on uh, an Abert squirrel and did the notorious click because there wasn't a shell um, chambered. Uh, the other thing that I use a lot, um, well, it's the only thing I use now, is this shooter lube. Um, and I'll, I hope that when I get to the bolt, I'll be able to show you um, how well this stuff does. I'm not being paid by it. Uh, this really is something that, that I use. It's a two-part system. We've got the, this is the actual cleaner and then stage two is for the oil, the lubricant. Um, if Shooter Lube ever watches this and wants to send me some, I will absolutely endorse it. I'm already endorsing it, um, just not getting paid. So I'm gonna turn the gun around here. When I put the uh, four snake in, I go from all the way back to where the bolt sits, not just the chamber, because this is thick enough that it's going to clean all that out, too. Um, and the one thing I am very religious on, or very adamant on, I should say, is uh, I always clean the same direction that the bullet exits. So I go from back to front um, to the end of the barrel. And then if I was going to use the rod style, I would actually unscrew the um, patch holder, the little plastic um, jag thing, and then pull the, uh, pull the rod out. Um, so the, these things here, they've got one, two of them. Yeah, so got these two. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, for your brass cleaning uh, to make it look like the little jagged part that's actually going to get into your rifling and clean out those grooves. Um, I'll see. I'll pick up the camera and let's see if we can see how dirty this is in there. Like I said, it hasn't been cleaned in a while. Um, So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the uh, cleaner part. I'm just going to spray that down and get it in the barrel, get it in the action here. And then I'm going to spray the actual jag part of this and some of the rope itself. And I'm going to just be very liberal with it. 
So this part here may be a little tricky on camera. I tend to have to hold things up and let gravity help me. So it's got this brass plunger. And it's just a weight is all it is. So we're going to stick that through. And then let it down into the barrel. Right now you guys are like, oh my god. Okay. So now that that's there, eh, it's not because it just fell. Cleaning your gun at home versus cleaning your gun on camera is a lot different. Making sure everything gets on the camera right. So gravity's going to take that down the barrel. And when it stops, you can see it's just kind of sitting there. Now we're going to take it, this out, and I'm right-handed, so I'm going to pull left to right. I'm going to get this, I'm going to wrap it around my hand a couple of times, and then I'm going to use my left hand and make sure it stays lined up. We're just going to pull. Pulls all the way out. And usually you only have to do this a couple of times and it and they're I mean, it's nice and shiny there's no carbon or powder or anything like that in the barrel anymore I'm gonna send it through one more time I like to do it a couple of times and for the most part, I clean my guns regularly enough that stuff doesn't get built up much anyways, but, I don't know, stopped using this one quite so much, and it must just, uh, must have slipped my mind. Feel free to make fun of me for what I'm doing here. Like I said in the last few videos, just do it in the comments section. Okay. So. Get out of the barrel. Wrap it around this hand as a guide and then we're just going to pull it right on through so that looks that looks beautiful in there okay Now, see if I can show you how much better it looks. Now remember, I haven't used a brush or anything on the inside. This is all just, not still. Still a little dirt in there, or a little filled up. But now we're going to get our brushes out and that's when we're going to go to town on all of this stuff
So let's see if I can grab the camera here. So I don't know if I can or not. But this stuff really this stuff just wipes all of that carbon. Right off. Look at it coming off there. So, I guess I won't know if that captured on camera until after I watch this to do the editing. Um, and I'll finish that part up off camera. Because uh, I want to out the bolt real quick this camera set up okay so right now you can see this is a clean that's how much was on it now the cool thing I really like about this shooter lube is we're just going to use this microfiber cloth. I'm going to spray the crap out of this. And then it just wipes off. Definitely gonna take the brush. This. So, hope you can see all that fouling and stuff that's in there. Then, and just straight up, just wipes off. Then, again, we've got a clean one. Looky there. Nothing on it. I mean, it just... I mean, that stuff is that simple and that good. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video. And I'm um, going to stop the video and finish this up so you don't have to watch that. And then we'll uh, do the oiling. Rubbed. Um, it's really just very clean now. There, there's nothing nothing coming off. The shooter lube stuff is, is amazing. Um, so now to lubricate it, we got stage two. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of lubrication. I'm just going to put a drop. Right there, right on the uh, right on the inside of that, and then I'm going to put a drop right here. And I'm going to take my finger and kind of spread it around in there. The rest is actually going to go onto the bolt. So I'm just going to put a little streak, and then I'm going to use my finger for the rest of it. And then we're going to line up the bolt, get it in right. Funny, I was watching um, some other videos, uh, some interviews with uh, gun manufacturers. And they were talking about you know customer service and what what kind of issues they have when guns come back. And they said their number one issue was uh, people wouldn't line up their bolt correctly to get it back in. Uh, and in some cases, they would take hammers and stuff and try to force it in, and it would totally just 
screw up their gun. So and get that back. That's already got the lube on it. So we're, now we're just going to cycle it a couple of times. And then I'm going to pull the trigger just so that there's no tension on the spring. Uh, then I'm going to give it a good quick checking over. See if there's any debris or anything, which I kind of already did before the video, so I know there's not. I know that it's stainless, but things still happen. So I'm just going to put a little streak on the barrel. I mean, we're not that much. And I'm just going to wipe everything down and keep it. Because this one's going to go back into its case and into the safe. And uh, probably isn't going to get messed with again until I make another video. Got still want to do a video shooting um, different ammos out of this. I actually haven't done a video yet on this gun, this rifle itself. I mean, I've teased it a couple of, uh, in a couple of different videos, but um, but I haven't done one specifically to this. So I uh, hope you liked that. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, tell everybody.